Good morning, happy weekend. I'm out here with coffee and it is the most picturesque fall morning. It is foggy, you can kind of tell behind me. Um, it is cool, it's quiet. If this ain't fall, I don't know what is. <laughs> the trees are just starting to turn here. Uh, we have a huge oak tree in our front yard and it is not turning, it is just dropping its leaves. Um, but the other trees we have are starting to turn, so I don't know. But I will say that my compost is thriving because I have so many dead leaves to put in them, which I'm not mad about. So, hello, I'm back. I apologize for no video last week, but um, last week was very uh, stressful and exciting and busy. My husband Robbie and I welcomed a nephew, our first nephew, our first niece or nephew. We are now um, an aunt and an uncle to our beautiful, wonderful, precious nephew. His name is Kenny. He was born September 28th um, and he is my new garden buddy, essentially. Um, I can't wait to be out in the garden with him and wear matching overalls and teach him how to grow tomatoes and all that fun stuff. So we are so glad he's here and we love him so much. We're so excited. So yeah, uh, hello, <laughs> I'm back. This week is also busy because the day that you are seeing this video is the day of the 5K run walk that my nonprofit um, organizes. And when I say my nonprofit, I mean it's me and one other person. So this week's also been very busy and stressful, but I wanted to come out this morning and shoot because the garden has been very neglected the last um, like couple weeks. And I know there's some stuff out here that needs harvested. Uh, I know there's some cucumbers. There may be a zucchini. I have actually been picking some zucchini, which is very exciting. And there's a ton of lettuce over here that needs harvested as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna pick some stuff. We're gonna drink coffee on this beautiful foggy fall morning and we're gonna pick, we're gonna harvest from the garden, which is something that I haven't been able to do in a long time and I'm so happy that I'm able to harvest from my own garden once again. <laughs> Walk with me. So, the garden is doing quite well. Honestly, I am very happy with it. It has rained almost every day the last week, but not like a lot, just enough to give the garden a nice drink. And for that, I'm very appreciative. Um, look at these beans. Right? I did not expect those beans to do anything. And there are tiny beans on these plants, um, which is very exciting. Oh, it's covered in a cobweb, okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna take you off the tripod. Hang on a second. You see that cobweb? It has fog resting on it and it is just, it is all over the, I don't know if you can see it up at the top, but like, look at that. That is crazy. We have some very active and creative spiders in this house, I will say. But what I wanted to show you, these are the purple potted pole beans. And there are some tiny little baby beans. So I am pretty stoked. Um, these, um, I don't know what these are, to be honest, but there are some little baby ones on here. Um, I planted some new varieties. Oh, there's a tomato plant in here too. Okay, I mean, <laughs> whatever, I guess. So I planted some new varieties. I did 
um, a couple that I'd done before, like the Rattlesnake and the Kentucky Wonder, but then I also did a new one. I don't know if this is the new one. I don't know, but then over here, this one came out the fence and then went back up the panel. This one, I think, is the Rattlesnake. This one right here is, not is um, I think, no longer with us. This one has purple flowers on it. So I think that might be the rattlesnake. I think the rattlesnake has purple flowers, if I remember correctly. And it looks like this one has white flowers. So this one may be, I think I ordered blue lake pole. That might be that. But yeah, the beans are really starting to, I mean, I thought they were all dead. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Now over here in the cucumbers, there's another tomato plant. Um, the plants are really starting to not look great, but they're producing cucumbers. This is the Green Dragon Burpless. And there are a few little ones on here right now. Like there's a slightly larger one down here. These will get longer. So I'm not gonna pick that yet. But then over here, and this arch is also covered in spider webs. Uh, somebody's been very busy out here. I mean, it's not me. Oh, wait, I think I see him right there. I can't focus on him, but he's that little speck. <laughs> Hello, sir. Um, over here, a tomato plant, but this is the Chinese snake. And, like, that one is definitely ready. Yeah, like, that's a, yeah, that's a good-sized cucumber. I'm happy with that. Um, I may be able to make some pickles and can them. That would be fun. There's another one down here. I will say, some of these are weirdly shaped, and I think it's just because of the weather. It's been hot and then cool, and I think that they don't really like that. There's another one right here, but it is not very big, so we're going to leave that one. So, two cucumbers so far. I'm not mad about that. Okay, let's go put these on the deck. I didn't wear my Rue apron out here, which I probably should have. So we're just gonna leave these on the deck. <laughs> now the next thing is the squash. So this is the yellow crookneck squash. It has some powdery mildew on it, but it, I'm, it's, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm, I, I don't care enough to try and fix it honestly <laughs> there are a couple little ones on here but they're not ready yet this is the italian striped zucchini look at this monster this thing is huge i love it oh there is one down there you see it i like these striped zucchinis a lot because they're easier to tell um where they are because they don't blend in with the grass as much Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. Are there any more? No. Not right now. So, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty, pretty stoked about being able to pick zucchini makes me super happy. So this is all my lettuce that I have right now. I did actually plant some more seeds in these two raised beds a few days ago. I planted just some more lettuce, just some broad sown lettuce, uh, spinach, and some kale. I'm hoping for like some baby kale type situation. Um, so this lettuce needs to be harvested <laughs> uh, quite bad. So when I harvest lettuce, especially these varieties, this is like, a butter crunch and then this is just like a mescaline mix type situation i normally oh they're covered in bugs i normally just pinch it off with my fingers i don't even worry about bringing out like snips or anything um this lettuce has been really great it this one in particular <laughs> is very tall it's starting to maybe go to seed so I, my thought was to re-sow some lettuce, um, 
so I can pull these plants out and I actually am going to go ahead and pull that one out um, but that was kind of my thought because I know that especially with the row covers I have on for these two beds um, I should be able to get lettuce probably through Thanksgiving maybe even later than that if it's a variety that is a little more frost tolerant so that would be awesome but I'm basically just gonna go ahead and harvest most of this because I haven't really been harvesting off of these at all I've been harvesting what I need but not any more than that and I'm gonna just go ahead and harvest pretty far up the stalk of this one and then I have this little red lettuce over here and I don't know what these variety these are butter crunch I know but these other ones I don't know um, they came in a pack of lettuce mix so they're just whatever this is delicious this little frilly lettuce um, I actually may harvest this as a head and use it like that so I'm gonna leave that one but this butter crunch I am gonna harvest some uh, off of this bed is full of tiny little gnats which is not great so what I'm gonna do when I get inside with this because it's full of bugs is I'm going to fill up my sink with cold water and I'm going to put salt in it like quite a bit like you were salting pasta water that's how I'm gonna salt my sink full of water and basically that will kill any of the little gnats that are still in this lettuce when I take it inside so that's how I wash my lettuce and then I just use a salad spinner and spin it um, something I did not know about salad spinners was because I really didn't need a salad spinner until last year I think um, when I really had lettuce the first time you need to do it in small batches like I can't shove all of this <laughs> in my salad spinner because it won't dry it off so if you are new to leafy greens and spinning lettuce keep that in mind because you will just have more wet lettuce this is a lot um, I didn't bring anything out here so I'm just holding it but yeah I do have radishes down here. They are not ready yet. They're just kind of starting to bulb up. So yeah, that's exciting. When those finally are ready, I'm pretty stoked. I did um, China Rose and Watermelon Radishes. So both new varieties for me and I'm super excited to see what they look like. <sighs> okay, so I have a lesson for you really quick before I get my day started. <sighs> Bring something out to put your harvest in. And also, um, have a spot to sit your coffee because I just spilled my whole coffee cup into my um, lettuce bed. So, hopefully the caffeine doesn't hurt the lettuce. I would leave the clip in, but I said a curse word. So, I might put it in and take the audio out. So I'm gonna go make myself another cup of coffee. <sighs> Take my harvest in. I am very happy about this harvest today. Um, I think I'm gonna have a salad for lunch. And I'm gonna go get my day started. So <sighs> I hope everyone has a great weekend. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I hope everyone has a great weekend. <laughs> uh, I uh, did start thinking about next year's garden, like what I'm gonna plant yesterday. So that was exciting. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go make more coffee. Mm, love it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Oh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will... <laughs>
see you in the next one.